Hello, this is Bronson's By Any Means Necessary Fantasy Sports Talk. Uh, it's baseball season, but um, um, we're not talking about baseball right now, even though I do want to mention that Steven Strasburg is now out for the season. Uh, I think that guy just needs to retire. He's frail. He's made a lot of money. He's won an, an, uh, a World Series. He has nothing left to play for, really. Just retire um, while, you're still, while you're still young. You go spend your money, go invest your money, and get even richer. Like, just, we can tell, we all know you're not passionate about baseball and your body just can't handle it so it's time to retire anyways this is part three of my nba 2021 mock draft um it's official that the pistons are going to take Cade cunningham with the number one pick uh, two through 60 still up for grabs um i'm here at uh bancroft park in old colorado city which is a part of a neighborhood of colorado springs it's kind of older and a little bit more um turn of the century turn of the 20th century um, it's a pretty cool area uh, i don't think i'm going to be able to film where i originally intended to film which was in the garden of the gods because it's massively overcrowded in there there's no way i'm going to get any privacy um so i'm going to do this here picks 21 through 30. So anyway, so we'll start with 21, the New York Knicks. I think they're going to take West Virginia guard Miles McBride. Uh, he just seems like a Tom Thibodeau type of player. Plus, they they need some point guard depth. They need a they need a real young point guard to build around for the future. Um, Miles McBride looks like the best one still on the board there. To in in some people's eyes, the Lakers at 22 will take Chris Duarte out of Oregon. As much as I would hate that because I, I like the Ducks, and I like Chris Duarte, and I hate the Lakers, but um, the Lakers are going to be looking for a ready-made prospect who can come in uh, and provide quality minutes on the wing. Chris Duarte is going to be able to do that. At 23 and 24, we got the Rockets back-to-back. -back. The Rockets are going to take Cameron Thomas, the freshman scoring sensation out of LSU. If the Rockets do end up with Jalen Green and Cameron Thomas, they will have gotten the two best pure scores in this draft. That's a pretty good haul. At 24, they're going to take the Houston native from uh, Virginia, who also played three years at Rice, Trey Murphy, the, the, the prototypical 3 and D forward. Um, I'm not a big fan of him, but I think he was he got a first round promise. That's why he decided to stay in. It wouldn't surprise me if it's Houston that takes him at 24. 25, we got the Clippers. I would imagine they're going to be looking for some guard depth and. Um, you know, at 25, they're probably not going to get the best prospects, but Jaden Springer is still on the board. What is that? What is that on my face? Weird. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to deal with that. It must be some kind of glare or something. Jaden Springer, the freshman from Tennessee, one of the younger prospects in the draft. Combo guard at this point, good offensive potential. Um, could, I think, in that system with those veterans or those players, could provide 12, solid backup minutes right away at 26 the nuggets i like the nuggets taking jared butler they have a tendency to take guys with injury risks who've fallen down the board jared butler is that kind of candidate he would provide guard depth because i believe because jamal murray's coming off the acl injury and i think of uh, either monte morris or cam is a free agent i don't remember which one monte morris could find greener pasture somewhere else jared butler could step right in as the backup point guard from denver 27, the Nets will take Io Dawson, Dawson Mew. I actually don't know how to say his name, but he's the best guard candidate left on the board. He's one of the older prospects in the draft, so he should be able to provide valuable minutes on, off the bench for the Brooklyn Nets as they vie for a championship next season. So at 28, we got Trey Mann. He's going to Philadelphia. I think they're going to be uh, at their spot. They're going to be looking for the best available shooter. Um, and they're going to be pissing their pants with glee that Trey Mann fell to them at 28. The Suns at 29, I think they're going to take the local kid, Josh Christopher. I can't see Josh Christopher falling out of the first round. I think the potential is far too high for him there. There's a lot of speculation they may go Dayron Sharp. They could do that too, but I'm sticking with my guns going Josh Christopher. And at 30, the Utah Jazz will take the dandy of the combine, um, Nashon Highland, uh, who looked like he was a superior player against his peers in the scrimmages. Um, Utah is going to be wanting some shooters, some some older, some athletic, older prospects who are going to be able to come in and provide quality minutes off the bench. And Nashon Highland, 
at 30 is probably um, just seems like the kind of guy that Utah would go for. I mean, he's a little bit of a reach at that spot, but you know, I mean, late first round, early second round, doesn't really matter. Um, so not not a tremendous reach. There's other guys who probably could have gone first round. The Jazz lately uh, have been going way out of left field with their picks. If you remember Yudoka Azabuki last year, he, nobody else is even talking about him as like a second rounder. But Utah loved him enough to take him in the first. Um, I've seen some mock drafts have Utah picking uh, Rokas Yokobitis, another projected late second rounder. Pretty nice motorcycles cruising down the road here, Colorado Avenue in front of me. Um, Rokas Yokobitis, I can see them doing that. That's the, the kind of thing they do. Uh, he's, a, he's a prospect who probably come over right away provide some valuable minutes off the bench but I think they need a shooter like a Nation Highland I think Nation Highland would be the best fit for them at that spot so that's what I'm going with uh, so um, I'm waiting for my lift ride to take me back to the garden of the gods right now so I'm gonna try to keep this video a little shorter than normal as I'm in a time crunch but uh, thank you guys for for watching and supporting liking and commenting and sharing and talking about me even if it's negatively you know all all publicity is good publicity, they say. I still do not know what that red light is from. It's like a, like a sniper's watching me. He's waiting for me to stop talking to myself before he kills me. Um, so if this, if this is the end, it's nice knowing you guys. Peace, love, and nacho fries.